Hello guys, this is Matthias Berg. Uh, I'm currently in my home in quarantine. Just a few days left now, but it's been a nice time with my family. Uh, me and my son have stayed uh, home for 10 days now. Uh, my wife is actually at work. Uh, she has a very critical uh, job and uh, it's important for her to, to be there. But uh, that gives us, uh, me and my son, time to stay home, uh, cook dinner. We make dinner every day. I really enjoyed to watch the Ford vs Ferrari, I think, I think it was a brilliant movie and uh, I think you can all uh, take some time to watch that now. Uh, in terms of music, I didn't do my son sing, uh, which can be a little bit annoying, so uh, yeah, we, we manage it somehow. When it comes to, to training, I stay physically in shape uh, back home here. Uh, there's plenty of roads and uh, plenty of place to, to run and to, to bicycle and of course to, to play with my son. I think that's probably the hardest exercise I can do these days. So I'm really exhausted every day. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, I need to stay physically and mentally in shape uh, for when everything starts back up and uh, yeah. Just uh, try to take advantage of all the time and uh, I will be in my best shape when we get back to rallying. Me and Torstein, we actually met uh, many years ago. He was a co-driver for, for one of my competitors. Uh, uh, so uh, I known him for a very long time. He actually used to be my gravel crew. So uh, I know him personally really well from, from the past, uh, already from 2010, 11, something like that. So. Uh, we are good friends and uh, from 2017 he co-drive me as well uh, that was uh, that was a good choice he's a very good co-driver and we are we are uh, good friends so uh, we haven't spent so much time together lately obviously because I'm in quarantine but uh, when I'm done with that probably we will spend some some time personally together as well uh, he's a big uh, skier so I probably have to in to, to join him for some uh, some cross-country skiing. Quarantine is actually quite a difficult word to say, so I would say that's, uh, that's a tricky English word. So, uh, but I've said it a lot lately, so I have, uh, I have had enough practice. Guys, please everyone stay safe, uh, take care of each other and uh, listen to, to your government and whoever gives you advice. Uh, and let's push through this together and see you all back on the rally stages.